Good day, folks. Welcome back to the channel. Hey, that crab was dirty. A lot of sort of stuff. A lot of small stuff. The whole was like half and half. I can see it from here. What happened to eat? They didn't eat or sorry. Eat something. You got four, you got three miles. Three miles on this boat is like over 20 minutes. We all been out there for like 15 hours and we're hungry. Be nice to get a meal. So now we're seeing crabs, so am I supposed to just sit on this? It's your team out here. You're gonna start cracking, dude. Be your teammate, dude. I am not your teammate, I am your captain! Whatever, you talk to me like you've been fishing for 20 years and captaining for 20 years, you haven't. I had to earn my spot on crab boat, what about- We will show you crazy, mouthy, and dumb people on deadliest catch. Trash talker quits. Captain Jake is under pressure to fill his crab quota, but someone's not on deck. Luckily, he was found. Unluckily, he was found sleeping on the job. Something tells me this is not going to end well. Is the plant care? No. I have a delivery date. I have no choice. I need 45,000 pounds completely where I want to be. There is a lot of pressure riding on me right now. When we set this, which we're going to set like right now, we're going to have to be quick. We only have so many days left. It's Kenny. I have no idea. Please look for Kenny. Yeah. Wake you up already. Everybody's up. Everybody's been up. Yeah. Sleeping on the job when it on the line. You're not the fucking drink it. No. Kenny, get off the deck. It's not really okay at all. I'm just trying to stay calm. Wind. Zombie. Oh, yeah. Rough night last night. Please, Kenny, let's not do that anymore. Every second you waste matters. We'll get there. It'll happen. It's stuff like this that adds up. I got to set. Go ahead and let it ride, Sean. Here we go. I don't know, but this guy reminds me of my old roommate who expected me to remember that one time he washed the dishes when I asked him why he's late on his share of the rent for the fifth time. Here we go. First pot. I'm hoping for big numbers. I have a gut feeling there's going to be something in this. Hopefully it's full crap. Oh, hell no. I ain't gonna fill the tank with that. I really thought that there was gonna be a lot of crab coming on. Looks like we're eating off food stamps. Please let it get better. Please let it get better. Oh, no crab. In the ditch. Shot in the ditch. Oh, that's nice. Ah. Man, we're tired of all this hard work and nothing. You know, Kenny was already on my mind, you know? pissed off at him for the way he talks and it's just you know I just I give up it just I get irritated I don't want him in my head anymore oh, I like gotta get better than that I'm so over this there's much more going on than just throwing the hook I'm tired of his stupid mouth and Jake making me throw hell far in the stupid buoys oh, that's all right and he's got it Jake's got to figure it out, but I'm not out here for nothing. Jake's really, uh, Jake's really, uh, this. I want to, Kenny, get your ass up to the wheelhouse right now. Yeah, you, right now. Well, the crew member ended up quitting. How about when the boss tells you to come to his office, just shut it and hope you keep your job. I come up and I get The boat don't need you out there. I'm fire up right now. I should for sleeping on the and I was nice about it. And I given you Where are you? The whole time. Whining around. That's all you do. I work all the time. I know what you do. So do they. What was the matter with me having a backbone? I ain't your I'm your captain. Clean all the spots that they don't clean. All the spots they don't clean, I clean. And about this is how I get treated.
Mouthy Deckhand. Despite warnings, Captain Jake's deckhand persists in mouthing off. The whole crew knows the job they signed up for, and the captain has the right to tell them to keep working until they meet the quota, especially if they hit a hot spot. Just in the nick of time, folks. I'll tell you what my plan is. I'm fit to get some food in me. I can't even eat, dude. My stomach's nuts. And I'm putting it in and I'm my pillow. I'm really hot, so just letting everybody know we're hauling one more string after this one. Oh, hell no! They thought we were going to be done, which I told them we're going to haul this 12 potter and we'll be done. Then we ran into crap. Oh, no. Really? You wouldn't even see anything. Hey, Mom. What? Hey, that crap was dirty. A lot of sort of sucks. A lot of smells. That whole it was like half and half. I can see it from here. What happened to eat? We didn't eat or sorry. Eat something. You got four, you got three miles. Three miles on this boat is like over 20 minutes. We all been out there for like 15 hours and we're hungry. Be nice to get a meal. So now we're seeing crabs, so am I supposed to just sit on this? It's your team out here. You're gonna start cracking, dude. Be a teammate, dude. I am not your teammate, I am your captain. Whatever, you talk to me like you've been fishing for 20 years and captaining for 20 years, you haven't. I had to earn my spot on the crab boat. What about you? I work from the factory up. I've worked in plenty of factories, bro. Common sense would dictate when he said they would stop. Get out of here. Two weeks under get the the out of my wheelhouse. Stay in bed, I don't care, I'm gonna keep hauling gear. Coming into my wheelhouse, all because he wanted to go to sleep. Now he's questioning my judgment and my ability to be a skipper, and that's, he went too far. Following a violent outburst, Captain Jake angrily bans him from the deck and fires him from the Saga crew. Let me turn around. That's a show, dude. Alright, it's gotta stop, dude. This stops now. We're on the crab, did you forget that? You run into crab, what are you gonna do? Get off, get off. Drunk crew member. Imagine being deciding to continue drinking, not showing up to work and trying to fight your boss. Well, you don't have to imagine anymore. Just take this crew member as an example. Decided to keep drinking before going to work and now he's mad because he's getting fired? They disrespect the captain once and then they think they can do it over and over and over and over again. I'm done with this. I'm done. James, a pack there. I don't want to see him again. These guys officially do not work for the Saga anymore. All I have to do is make sure they have a place to stay and have an airplane ticket to the port where I hired them from. That's it. Supposedly we were fired, I guess. For what? Going out and have a couple drinks. I mean, this is... Matter of fact, I'm calling right now. If you don't touch my elbow, slap the out of here. There's a cab coming right now, man. Where are we going? I'm going to slap as soon as I see him, I'm gonna put him on his right, knee. We're going. We're going right now. Don't ever give him my back. Well, you ain't answering your phone. I'm in the cab on my way there. If you step off the boat, I'm gonna beat This is man jokes. I'm talking. Okay? If he steps off the boat, I'm gonna slap Guess who's here? 
I don't want a fist fight. I don't want my stuff to get broken into. So I grabbed the police and brought them down here. That's that. What your concern is right Getting now, your stuff right off now the boat. my rights have been violated because that man has put his hands on my belongings. Do you understand that? But you're not doing anything about that. What I'm here to do is for you to get your stuff off the boat. So what, what you should be doing, though, is your job. <laughs> it's all out when you can go and having a cocktail or whatever. Why are we getting fired, Jake? You, you disobeyed a direct order. What was the direct order? Who told you you could go drink? There's no drinking. You said go dinner. How do you know we were drinking? OK, let me ask you this, officer. Why are you, you talking to them? Talk to me. You know what? You arguing with me right now is is just a, yeah, see? You think you think that you're in charge of my boat. I'm not in charge of dude. Yeah, I know. You made your choice to continue drinking. You're the worst skipper I've ever seen Thank in my you. life, Jake. Thank you. And you know that's true in your head. You see that look you gave me? Yes, sir. Who, who rebuilt Sorry, the officer. boat? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Get him out of here. That's why he's gone. If they want to go party, then go party and don't show back up to the boat. They made their choice to stay drinking. I have to lay down the law. The funny thing about this type of person is they don't show up or answer their phones when it's business time. But when it's time to fight and argue, they're there. Captain Jake is left with no choice but to fire him, and I will hand it to the captain. Gotta respect a captain that's not afraid to go on deck and do some of the work themselves. Overboard again? Just a day after diving in the freezing cold sea, deckhand Freddy nearly gets caught under a 2,500 pounds launcher whilst fixing a broken pipe. How is this happening again? Whoa! What is that? Unidentified floating object. Somebody want to tell me what the f is this coming up? A whale? Maybe? Something big. Something big out there. It's like a dead killer whale. It wants to be a dead Nessie. It's a dead Nessie, dude, and we found it. What the f is that? Oh, it's a three! Just as a side note, when you see a weird thing in the water and you have Freddy in your crew, just keep moving. It's basically a guarantee that if you try and haul something aboard, Freddy will 100% dive in and ineffectually throw a rope on it while rapidly dying of hypothermia. Give it to me, Freddy! No, no. No, Freddy. No, no, Freddy. No. Woo! Oh! Man overboard. Man overboard. Give me a goddamn life, please, now! Oh. Oh. Oh my God, this is not good. Hang on to that, Freddy, so we don't lose you. Yeah, baby! Throw him a life sling, quick. Put that on, on you, the sling! Put that on! Come on, the overload! Hook on, bring him in. I'll get it, I'll get it! Come here! God damn it, come here! Never done something no in my life. Oh, I know, I know. Thank you, Freddy, but that vlog, we're going out, getting out of here.